What's up, guys? It's Damn It Bennett. We are back here uh, in YouTube for another episode of Damn It Noob, our video tutorial series on getting started with streaming and Twitch and all of the things that go into it. And so far, we've had such a great response to these videos, so we're going to keep making them. Uh, we've been getting tons of suggestions on, on topics to cover, and, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's subscribed to the channel and, and uh, taken the time to watch and comment uh, or hit me up on Twitter or even come by the stream when we're live on Twitch. So um, definitely thank you guys for watching this stuff. It, it really makes me uh, feel good and uh, uh, pretty stoked on it. So, anyways, moving forward, one of the suggestions that we've gotten uh, this week was asking about better Twitch TV. Um, some of you may be familiar with this. Some of you may, may not have any clue what I'm talking about. Um, and we're going to cover both of those days. But also with better Twitch TV, the question was about the emotes in the channel. Um, now, Traditionally speaking, if you are a partnered broadcaster, you have a specific amount of emotes that depending upon how many subscribers you have, you get more of them, um, but they can be used all over Twitch um, and obviously inside your channel, but you have to subscribe to obtain those uh, emotes. Now, uh, for an unpartnered streamer like myself, um, I have had some friends that have made me some uh, artwork and emotes and stuff like that that I wanted to use. Um, so... We uh, had to start searching around. How could I have some emotes in my channel uh, that my viewers could use to have some fun with that would be specific to my channel only? Um, and I found this place uh, online, uh, Better Twitch TV. Um, and this is something from uh, Night Dev, who uh, most probably familiar with Nightbot. Um, but anyways, moving forward, would these uh, emotes are something that you as a broadcaster can set up for yourself to be exclusively used in your channel. They won't be available anywhere else unless another streamer uh, is using your emotes in their channel. So if you set your emotes up to share, uh, they'll be able to be used in other people's channels as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but other than that, there's no real workarounds to getting them any other ways. Now, uh, let's dive into the two things that you're going to need to set this up. So we're going to go into um, Chrome here and we'll open it up wide so you can see. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is either install Better Twitch TV for uh, Chrome. Um, and I believe they may have it for Firefox now. I don't use Firefox, I use Chrome. So we're going to stick with that. So you're going to go to the web store. Uh, you're going to install the plugin. I've already done that, but... Um, once you, uh, once you install it, uh, you'll be able to see it probably either up here on the top right hand corner um, and edit it from there. So that, that part of the, the thing is done. We can go back, um, go back another one. Uh, and then the second place that you're gonna wanna go for this uh, tutorial is going to be the manage.bettertwitchtv.net uh, or ttv.net. Um, and this is what we already have a hope open here. Now you got to see a little glimpse of it right there. It was a little purple button that says connect with Twitch, just like most, uh, of these, uh, apps and, um, uh, widgets and stuff. Uh, you can just connect right with your Twitch profile. Obviously, if you're going to be adding, uh, your own emotes to your channel, this is going to be very important. Um, so we've got obviously this opened already. Um, so now that you've got better Twitch TV installed, Let's just go ahead and check out some of the settings that we can get uh, by going and using um, Better Twitch TV. So uh, we're gonna come to our directory here. Uh, apparently Twitch has been having some, some weird issues today. I don't even see it on here. Uh, so let's go, only 28 people are online. We're gonna go to Leopard South because that that uh, that's perfect. Um, but yes, okay. So down here in the right hand bottom corner is how I have it set up. You can see these these settings, um, and obviously um, in these settings, you can 
turn on and turn off the things that you want to have set for your settings in better Twitch TV. So maybe you want to join a channel anonymously. You could turn that on. If you want the alpha badges, you can have a theater mode. There's a viewer list. Um, this is one of the ones that's going to be really important right here is the better Twitch TV emotes. Um, it adds an extra cool emote for you to use. You want to make sure that is turned to on. Obviously, what we're going to be creating later on in this video will not work if that is not there. So you have to have better Twitch TV installed on your browser to see the emotes. If your viewers don't have that installed, they're not going to see them. They're just going to see the, you know, the text that triggers the emote. Um, you can also turn on uh, the GIF emotes. Um, there's a, as a blue buttons instead of purple. I mean, there's some, just some specific stuff that you could or could not want, uh, as you are browsing Twitch, but there's a lot of options here. A lot of great settings. Uh, I like the darken uh, theme versus the white theme, uh, that tw Twitch comes standard with, uh, that's preference, I guess. I don't know, but, uh, I do like it. Um, I do also like the desktop notifications, especially when you're streaming, uh, because if someone's tagging you, uh, in, in another chat or something like that, it will pop up on your desktop. will let you know, Oh, Hey, this has happened. I use this at work all the time. Uh, like a lot of times as I'm working, uh, I can't necessarily always be paying attention to what the broadcaster is saying or what's happening in chat. And every now and then someone will tag me uh, in the chat and it will pop up here and then I can go back and look and respond and I'm not missing anybody's conversation. So uh, this is always something that I, I recommend. Um, and obviously you can browse through these different settings. Uh, you could disable whispers if you wanted or uh, if you didn't want to see the, the bits, the new, the new bit thing, uh, you could turn that off and on. And um, there's some other really good things. Uh, I really like this host bus, uh, I can't talk, this host button here got that turned on and you can see that right here. If I wanted to host uh, Leopard Stealth's channel, I could click this button and uh, bam, it's gonna host it right there just from just from looking at it. Now, a, a word of caution, this host button is really close to the unfollow button. And so uh, I have definitely done that before um, where I've hosted channels and accidentally unfollowed and then had to have the embarrassing moment of having to follow again <laughs> midstream. So uh, definitely, uh, make sure you know what you're <laughs> clicking on. But um, as we move forward, there's still, there's a ton of options here with better Twitch TV. Um, I really think that you guys are going to like it. Um, if you look at this chat right now here, uh, you can see that chat is split um, with each line. So you can kind of understand who, where one sentence ends and, and another one begins. Um, but that's about all that you need to do at this point. There are some different channel things, and we'll get more into that later. Obviously, you can learn more about uh, you know Night Dev and and Better Twitch TV here. But let's just jump back into the home. So, one of the things that was asked was, "Hey, damn it, Bennett, how the hell do you have so many emotes in your channel? You have uh, they have a limit of five. You've got like twenty. Like, what's up?" What's the deal? So they have a subscription now, just like any um, any channel that you would subscribe to. It's the same price. It's $5 a month uh, that you can subscribe to. And uh, that way, uh, or excuse me, $4.99 per month, you can um, get up to 25 emotes, uh, 25 shared emotes, and you have a priority uh, emote, uh, emote approval um, for your channel. Normally it takes a couple days for your emotes to get approved, uh, but if you are subscribed, it's pretty much, I wanna say 24 hours, but I mean, that's not, it's not printed anywhere, but it's pretty quick. Uh, usually if I made an emote in the morning, uh, you know, while I was at work, by the time that I got home and started streaming that night, it was usually ready to go. So um, that could di be different with the weekends and, and things like that, but, um, so far as a subscriber with better Twitch TV, um, it, it really hasn't had any, any information that, um, uh, you know, had said otherwise. So as we continue on, um, you can add your channel bot here. So right now I've got <laughs> die bag as a bot in my channel, as well as crab core bot. Um, it will give the little, um, robot symbol next to the name in the chat. 
Um, they only allow up to two of those, I believe. Uh, but let's get back to the emotes. So these are our emotes. Now, uh, if we click on, you know, if we click on one of them, we're gonna get a preview of them. Um, it will also show you the channels that is using Damn It Love. So Dimebag and his channel is, is currently using this. I've shared this emote so anyone could use it. Um, most of my emotes are shared, I believe, um, but um, it will tell you what channel it is, the code that it you have to punch in specifically to uh, to launch this um, uh, emotes. Is it shared and is it live? And then it'll give you a preview of what it looks like here. You can change things, you can update it, you can delete things. Um, so this gives you a, a great way to get in your chat, make some custom stuff. Um, and obviously if your bots are using the better Twitch TV and, uh, uh, things like Nightbot, uh, not, excuse me, not but like, um, uh, Deepbot is what we use. Um, that also has that in, in, in the system. So you can, they show up there. Um, but, uh, these are all of the emotes that we use in our channel. So today I thought it would be fun to kind of throw in a little bit of an extra uh, here. Um, and we're going to um, actually make a new emote real quick too. We're not gonna do anything too complicated, but um, we are gonna jump in. So I did wanna open up uh, one of the assets we've created for uh, our damn it beardy guy. Um, and we're just going to grab, apparently fonts aren't, transferred on this computer so that one looks weird but we're just going to grab uh, our guy here and we're going to open up photoshop and we're going to create a new file so this is going to be damn it lurk you gotta spell it right of course and we need this emote file to be um 112 pixels by 112 pixels with a resolution of 300 um, we're going to click OK, and it's going to make this small, tiny box. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. As we zoom in, it will get a little pixelated as we, uh, you know, copy and paste um, the guy here. But um, we're going to paste him as a smart object so that he stays pretty, pretty solid with his proportions. And for the lurk, we're going to make him, uh, let's see, he, he's going to be kind of popping up in the bottom here. Maybe we'll center this. So we'll see what that looks like and we're gonna let it boom there we go so we've got that set um what we can do is we and this is an important step to this is that we undo the background over here so that it's just transparent so you see the checkerboard there and um that's pretty much good we're gonna set so obviously if we go back to the original um size of this file you can see that that's going to be kind of what it looks like now on your chat it will be smaller um and uh you won't be able to make it out to be this big but you, you guys get the idea so what we're going to do is we're going to hit control alt shift and s it's going to bring up our safer web we're going to look and make sure that we have 112 112 it's a png so we're going to save it looks good and we've already created one so we're going to replace the damn it lurk um, uh, image. So now that we're, we're back here in our better Twitch TV um, emote list, we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna upload the file. We're gonna click on damn it lurk. And in here you'll see that it gives us our little preview of what that's gonna look like. And you know, that's cool, that looks good, but I I don't really, I don't really like it as much as I, as I want to. So we're gonna come back here we're gonna zoom in. Maybe maybe we make him a little bit. No, maybe we center him, and so because he's kind of at an angle now, so maybe we just center him like that. Make sure his whole thing, his beard's not popping. There we go. We get a little bit of a beard. All right, cool. Let's do that again. So Control Alt Shift and S to save uh, with the file sizes are correct we're just going to click on the same one again and replace it we'll come back here we'll open up the file and click that one so now it's centered okay so that looks cool um that looks good I, i'm still not 100 percent happy with it so what we're going to do is uh if you've been to my channel before and honestly you probably see it popping up on screen um in the video, um, 
one thing that we have is our, our, our beardy guy, he, he's coming usually out of the corner. So he's usually over here doing, doing something like this. And I'll make him a little bit bigger. I always want to keep his ear in the frame. So this way we can maximize his size without losing too much. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be happy with this. That looks pretty cool. So we'll go in here, we'll save that again. We'll replace it again. We'll go back here and we're gonna click on this again and bam, there we go. So now now he's just kind of popping up in the corner. He's super lurking the channel. Uh, you know, we can use this if, if uh, you know, you, you gotta go lurk. Uh, we can, you know, have a, have a, a lurky mode. So uh, the chat code for this is going to be, damn it, lurk. And I, of course, still can't spell. Um, so damn it lurk, there we go. Uh, it's all set. Um, looks pretty good. Liking it. I'm feeling it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and submit it. So we've, we've now just sent this off. Um, the code is here. We've get the whole page kind of layout of, of everything that we need. It's currently pending review. Uh, we're going to let other people use this. And we're gonna add it to our personal emotes. Um, oh, I guess it's not it's not live, so we can't do that yet. But you get the idea. So this is how you would submit um, your emotes to Better Twitch TV. Um, I honestly believe it is the same type of uh, emote submission for partner streamers, although I have no idea. Um, I've just seen some screenshots of it and it looks very similar uh, as far as the process is concerned. But uh, like I said, I don't know. I'm not partnered, so I, I can't I can't share that with you, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and and had a good time uh, learning a little bit about better Twitch TV as well as uh, you know making an, an emote. Um, obviously, we love the feedback. Please give it to us. Hit us up on Twitter. Come to the live stream Tuesdays, Thursdays uh, after nine, and then Fridays during the day. Um, and then we're usually doing Sundays, uh, today, uh, my, uh, nephew is being born. So we are going to probably be going to the hospital during the day. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll be able to stream later on tonight. So, um, with that being said, if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe a like on the video. That would be cool too. share it with your friends. Um, but this is damn it noob and we are out of here. Have a good day guys.